Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will learn how to create a rectangle using SVG. So, to create a rectangle, we can simply use the rect element. Let's try an example to understand it better. So, let's first add the SVG element. So, SVG. Let's give it a width and height, say 500 pixels by 200 pixels. All right, let's add the rectangle element. So which is rect and angle brackets. It doesn't need a closing tag, so let's just remove this. So this rectangle tag, it requires width and height to set for the rectangle, and it accepts the same attributes. So let's add that, say the width is 200 pixels, and height is, say, 150. We need to put it in quotes all right so we also need to give it a fill so let's add that so fill let's say light coral let's save it and let's run the live server let's bring up our editor and as you can see our rectangle is visible on the screen uh, we can also define the starting coordinates of the rectangle. So for that, we can use the X and Y attribute. So let's define that. So let's say X is 20 and Y is also say 20. Let's save it. So our rectangle moved a bit away from the top left corner. Also, let's add a fallback text. So let's just say, Sorry, buddy, your browser does not support SVG. All right, let's save it and let's try changing some values and see what happens. Let's try changing the width and height. Let's say make it more, let's increase the width more than the height. So it becomes more elongated. Let's reduce the width more than the height and it looks more like a cylinder, like a vertical slab. And if we make both the values same, so it looks like a square. Say we change the value of X and Y. So let's say we increase it. So it moves towards the right. Let's increase it more. It increases, it moves more towards the right. Similarly, when we reduce it, it moves towards the left and we reduce more, it moves more towards the left. So when we change the value of X, if we increase it, the object moves towards the right. And when we reduce it, it moves towards the left. Similarly, let's try changing the value of Y. Say instead of 20, let's make it 40. And as you can see, it moved down. Let's increase it a bit more, say 80. And it's going outside the box, so let's increase the height of the box as well. Let's increase the value a bit more. And as you can see, it's moving more down. Similarly, when we reduce it, so it comes up, up, and it keeps coming up. So again, if we increase the value of Y, it moves down. And if, increase, and if we decrease the value of Y, it moves up. All right, so let's try adding a border to this rectangle. So we can use another property called stroke, the same property that, that we used in circle. So let's say stroke, let's give it a color. Uh, let's say light sky blue, let's save it. And as you can see, there's a very, very thin border here. Let's zoom it. So as you can see, there's a very thin border. So let's reduce it back to the original size and increase the width of this border. So for that, we have another property called stroke width. Let's give it a value in pixels, say 10 pixels, let's save it. And now as you can see, the border is more thick and more visible. All right, now let's try making the corners curve. So for that, we have two more properties, Rx and Ry. So let's try those. So let's say Rx is five and Ry is also five, let's save it. So as you can see, the corners are a bit curved. Let's increase these values, say 15, 15. Let's save it. 
And as you can see, the corners are a bit more curved. Let's try a little bigger value, say 25 and 25. So as you can see, so as we are increasing the value, the corners are getting more curved. All right, so let's say we increase it to the bit where it's half of the width and half of the height. So here we've got the width and height as 150. So that means Rx and Ry should be 75. So let's try that. And as you can see, a rectangle is turned into a circle. Well, that's magic. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, that's all for today. Try playing with these values, create your own designs and shapes. And if there's something that you did not understand, feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.